Hi, I'm Heidi Joy Trathaway with the OpenStack Foundation here with Jonathan Kroll from the User Committee. And Jonathan, I wondered if you would start by telling us a little bit about the um, value that the User Committee places on the user survey. So the User Committee was originally formed to bring the needs of the users to the attention of the developers. Mm -hmm. uh, and one of the first tools we had to do this was just asking the users what they were using, which parts of it worked, and which parts they were having difficulty with. Um, and the survey has really grown over the years into a very valuable tool, both for the users and for the developer community. One of the big headline numbers that we always talk about is the number of deployments in production. And uh, over the last year, we've seen the deployments in production grow from about 59% of the total to 72% of the total, which represents a 20% increase. That's really exciting, but at some point, it's got to stop, right? And tell us a little bit about your thoughts there. So it is very exciting that um, even as a fairly mature project now, OpenStack is continuing to see more and more production adoption. Um, at some point, we are going to reach a steady state. You're never going to have 100% of deployments in production, unless you're dying. Um, because yes. people are always going to be testing the new stuff. There's going to be needs for test and development for clouds, even for people who are running clouds in production. Um, so it's great that we're still seeing growth there, and I, I do wonder where that's going to level off. So this survey is uh, quite a bit different than some of the previous surveys. Um, in the last survey, we asked about 54 questions and reported on every single one of them. In this survey, we only asked about 30 questions and reported on about a dozen of them, really the, the developer-only highlights picture. Um, can you talk a little bit about the thinking behind that decision? So looking at the results of previous surveys, we were only seeing statistically significant differences on a year-to-year -year basis for most of the questions. Um, so we decided to focus only on the things that really do change release to release, which is mostly deploy deployment questions. Um, so that makes it easier for the users because they're only answering a smaller number of questions. And it makes it a lot easier for the foundation staff and the other people putting together the survey. Um, so we'll be seeing a much fuller survey in Boston where we will ask the full set of strategic questions there. And uh, let's talk a little bit about the new tool that just came out the, um, at openstack.org forward slash analytics. Um, we can basically go in and apply up to six different global filters on this data to slice and dice the data any way that we wish. Um, so what does that mean for you? I mean, what's So exciting? this is really exciting because rather than looking at a static set of relations that are pre-chosen. Uh, you can actually go in and see what people who have a deployment like yours or like your customers are using. Um, so if I want to see what people in academia with a thousand cores are doing, I can look at that, which might be much different than people who are doing you know, web services with 100,000 cores. Um, so you can really go in there and take a few different cuts to look at the data that's most relevant to you. Well, one of the questions that was most exciting for me to see is that 72% of the users were saying the number one business driver for them, the number one reason that they're choosing OpenStack is cost, that cost is creating a competitive advantage for them. And I wondered, um, what are some of the other business drivers that you thought were really interesting to see come out of the survey, um, but users are telling us why they're choosing OpenStack? So it's no surprise that people make business decisions based on cost. Uh, and it's great to see that OpenStack is clearly very competitive there. Um, but OpenStack is also used to increase operational efficiency, which we've seen, um, and to speed the pace of innovation. So you get cost savings and more rapid development and easier adoption of newer technology. So there's a lot of really strong winning points there for us. Great. Well, you can take a look at the user survey at openstack.org forward slash user hyphen survey, where you will also find links to a video to download the report and to the new analytics tool. Thanks for coming.